hello children with the hope that all of you are fine and keeping your sound health we are back again today i thought of doing this video for a purpose now as we are going through a difficult time not only for covid 19 but also for different calamities that are happening across the nation at different time in different forms we all are worried we all are um, you know anxious isn't it so today i thought of starting with chapter 4 that deals with climate in india now you need to know about our climate regime our climatic characteristics only to understand better about our livelihood our food our clothing and everything else climate is a physical factor depending on which every other thing depends so if we know about it know about its different factors we can actually understand every other thing quite well so in this chapter we are going to learn about the different parameters that controls climate also about the different seasonal variations and about their effects in our lives all right so without wasting any time let's get started now to begin this chapter the first and foremost thing that you need to know is what is a climate okay now to know climate first you need to understand what is weather now weather is the day to day change in the atmosphere around us all right the weather of a place may change continuously or even change within few hours or in a day now the storm that has recently come or uh, has gone over west bengal is also a phenomenon like this it's a weather condition isn't it it was raining here in kujbihar in the morning then it stopped for a few while and then again it started so the weather is continuously changing it may change in an hour it may change in a moment all right it tells us about the conditions of sun sunshine rain wind snow and temperature of a particular place at a certain time so that goes uh, about the definition of weather now we may have heard that the weather news on television or tv isn't it we we are frequently um, uh, you know watching televisions and we we have we nowadays we are frequently tuned with the weather forecast that how is it going to be helpful forecast is hel helpful in many uh, for many people whose work is affected by the weather who are they whose works are affected like a farmer may want to know about the temperature at the time of sowing seeds very important when he is sowing the seed the temperature the rainfall conditions are important whether it's going to rain in 24 hours or not whether it will be sunny or not all these things are very important weather forecast also warns people about storms heavy rainfall and bad weather conditions all right so weather of a place uh, weather is always concerned about a smaller place and it may change depending on the various parameters that depends okay they are rainfall sunshine water vapor etc now what is climate the weather conditions of a large area over a long period of time is called its climate so climate is again concerning over a long area it is not about a small area and the prolonged weather condition of a place for a long period of time is called climate so when we actually observe the particular weather regime of a place for a quite a long period of time in meteorology we take it as 35 years if the weather conditions of a place remain constant for uh, almost 35 years then we categorize it as a particular climate all right for example jaisalmer in rajasthan it is a place that is mostly um, you know mo mostly have a dry climate okay and a place that stays cold for most of the year has a cold climate for example ladakh 
all right the climate of a place influences the lifestyle of the people living there how 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 they influences the clothes they wear the food they eat the types of houses they build and the crops they grow all depend on the type of climate a person is having uh, sorry a place is having for example people in tamil nadu wear loose cotton clothes because it's very hot and humid there in meghalaya receives uh, in meghalaya as it receives heavy rainfall every year the roofs of the houses have all are all slanting so that the rain does not stand there however in rajasthan that receives very little rainfall houses have flat roofs so that they can collect water so you can see as i told you before uh, in the introduction that depending on the climate every other thing in our lives varies the house we will make the uh, the food that we will eat the crops the farmer will the farmer will uh, farmer will go everything will depend on climate in rajasthan as the uh, as they receive very little rainfall they have flat roof for the provision of storing water they call it water harvesting as it is very dry they need water for the dry months okay again in meghalaya in assam which receive quite a lot of rainfall the houses are all slanting so that the rain water cannot stand and can sl slide away slide down all right now coming to the climate of india how is it india has a tropical monsoon climate that means that it, it is near to the tropics the tropic of cancer passes through india thus it is having tropical monsoon climate the different factors that the that you know determine the climate of any region are firstly distance from the sea how it influences places located near to the sea are neither very hot nor too cold whereas places that are far away from the sea are extreme are having extreme type of climate take the example of delhi delhi is very cold during the winter months and very hot during the uh, summer months why because it is located quite away from the ocean or the sea now take the example of mumbai mumbai receives heavy rainfall during monsoon all right now it is neither very hot nor very cold because it is just located on the coast of uh, it has a coastal location it's located very near to the sea so the places which are located near to the sea will have a moderate climate and the places located away from the sea will have a extreme or Uh, extreme climate all right now secondly altitude of a place places that are located at higher altitudes so, such as the hill stations in the himalayas are having colder climate than the other parts of the country now take the example of kuch bihar and darjeeling kuch bihar is not as high, as highly located as darjeeling darjeeling is a hill station located in the middle himalayas okay so the height of darjeeling hills are quite more a lot of more than that of kuch bihar so darjeeling is colder than kuch bihar isn't it so uh, the altitude of a place or the height of a place from the mean sea level determines what type of climate it will be having all right now in kashmir uh, it uh, you know it's uh, it's uh, always it's snow uh, snow fed isn't it so it's always snowing here there but in darjeeling it does not snow all the time so again the height of kashmir is much more than that of uh, darjeeling you got the difference all right now thirdly direction of wind winds coming from the cold regions make a place cold winds coming from the hotter regions make a place hot winds coming from the sea make a place humid such winds have a lot of moisture in them and thus cause rainfall so how they affect us now it is 
the variability of the wind that from where it is coming it matters if it comes from a cold region it will be cold if it is coming from a hot region it will be hot if it is coming from the sea it will have a lot of moisture in them which cause rainfall and that is the reason mumbai receives a lot of rainfall now these winds have a lot of moisture in them so there are three different factors upon which the climate of a place mainly depends so we will stop here uh, we have learned about what is a weather what are its different parameters how a weather affect the different people then we have seen what is climate what are its characteristics and the different factors that control the climate of a particular place now your main aim will be to read the chapter till here uh, by each and every word and try to understand it all right by listening to the uh, audio now on friday i'll give you the rest of the explanation and also will be giving you the question answers with the spell check all right children till then take care have a nice day